Hey there, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. Glad you made it by. My name's Jim. I'm a crypto trader and a Forex trader here to help you understand the market through an Elliott Wave lens. Guys, I say that so often, it's almost robotic. So anyway, sorry about that. But it does help you understand what my channel is about. Um, I just want to share with you a little video that I made, uh, just a summary video that I made for the Discord. Um, following the FOMC meeting, we watched that uh, over the last hour. We watched the charts and uh, see how the FOMC meeting was going to develop and we read the minutes and figure out what the market might be doing in light of the FOMC meeting minutes that were shared today. So anyway, I want to just give you a sneak peek into the uh, Discord and uh, just let you know that... Um, uh, you know, we do have a Discord and we'd love to have you in. No, no longer do you have to wait till the first of the month to jump in. Uh, you can actually come in and you'll be billed on the day uh, that you join every month. So if you want to join, uh, that's a brand new thing uh, for my channel, especially because uh, Patreon just uh, re-fixed their uh, billing cycles. So anyway, um, if you're already in the Discord, uh, don't worry. You'll, everything's going to stay the same the first of the month from this one point on. But uh, if you join uh, from this point on, then you know whatever day you come in, it'll it'll just bill you on that day. So anyway, we'd love to have you in. Uh, we do have you know we do lives every day, especially uh, when the market demands it. We have uh, charts and we got an awesome uh, community of uh, traders. So so I've recorded that session here and my my summary thoughts following that. Well, not the whole session, but I recorded my summary thoughts following that. Uh, live session. So I wanted to share it with you guys, share it with YouTube, and uh, let you guys get a sneak peek into uh, what the Discord gets on a regular basis. And if it just benefits you, uh, I hope it, I hope the thoughts that I share here benefit you in some way. With that said, let's uh, jump into that, okay? All right. All right, guys, October the 12th, 2022. This is an afternoon summary report after watching the FOMC Rates uh, rates have promised uh, to 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 go up still. Um, still, the the Fed is not backing off on that. So, still strong dollar, still strong DXY. Doesn't mean it's gonna. It's probably gonna continue trending up. It doesn't mean it'll go straight up, but uh, probably continue trending up, or at least stay stable uh, in the current price ranges. Okay, so that gives uh, markets uh, a little bearishness. Okay. We're still bearish in the markets, okay? Now, on all the markets, my overall my overall perspective on the four-hour chart, and I said this already, but I'm saying it for sake of the video right now. To me, the markets are all rhyming with a call, a, a, a wave structure demand for a move down impulsively, okay? And then back up. Something like that. And it should be a pretty volatile and fast move back up, more than likely. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but on, on the nature of how this goes up, nevertheless, the direction would be up. Whether it goes up volatilely, very quickly, like a flat does, or it does something else a little bit more slowly, I don't know. All right, but that's my thinking is fast and quick. Um, now... Every chart is kind of rhyming that way. Look at the uh, look at the uh, four hour chart on on ETH. I am thinking one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I believe that's five waves. All right, and if that's five waves, I've got a five wave move down. Five, three up. Now I need five to finish, and I don't think five is finished. I think there's a hit to the low, like I've drawn here, and then up we go again. So this, in other words. We, we got a five, a three, looking for a five. Okay, so down and then up. All right, again, all of it calling for the same. We're going to the four hour chart on ADA. Looks like we got some kind of a triangle working, some kind of a descending triangle maybe, uh, which means we've got uh, A, B, C, D, E. It's finished. Let's go down. Let's finish this impulse. Okay, once we're finished, up we go. A reversal of some kind maybe in three waves, but again, down to finish, up we go, all right? That same kind of move, all right? XRP, same thing, Let's zoom in, yeah, zoom into the four hour just a little bit. You can kind of see it. We're in the middle of this, for the, of this last move. In other words, we're trending down, looking down for this last move to finish, and then up we go. And you can kind of see that play 
you know, developing in the market. Now, again, I don't think it's going to be V-shape. It could take a little time down here before it gets momentum. But nevertheless, that's the direction of the trading, I believe. All right. Uh, so, okay, there's first major, that's my major concept for where I think we're going on the macro. Now, zooming back in, okay, how do we get there? How does this go? Well, I, I think we're just impulsing to the downside, zooming into the 15 minute chart. Basically, um, we have broken the broken this structure right here. Boom, boom, boom. Right there, we've broken, we're retesting that we could uh, come down like this, retest like that. And that gives us some kind of a three wave move and then down we go. All right, so that's that's a possibility in the, in the realm. I imagine it's possible that this thing just starts rolling over and you know and keeps going, right? It could just keep rocking to the downside, uh, finishing this impulse to the downside. It totally could be bearish like that, all right? Uh, so I don't know exactly. So I've got a couple of ideas. Number one, we could roll down. Okay. Number two, we could go up and roll down, retest that trend line. We could break through it, retest for a three-way move without breaking that high and then roll over and go down. Uh, finally, we could go up in five waves like this and then come down impulsively with five waves and that this would be, um, let's see, how, how did I have that? Yeah, boom, boom. And this gets extended over to here as a larger three-wave move. So there's some ideas on the table for us to, to go down. Uh, which one? I kind of am biased to these. I'm a down more quickly than up. That's the way I'm thinking about it. Um, but so if, I, if you had to ask me, hey, make your bet now. What do you think? I think one of these two here. But if, um, you know, I could be, I'm ready to be wrong on that. And in fact, a break into this trend line area will will then have me looking at this possibility um, or this possibility if we break back in uh, to this zone, okay? If we come back into this box zone, uh, uh, as Chemo likes to talk about, okay? So those are, that's that. The, there's my thinking in a nutshell. That's those are my summary thoughts. Um, so I think down. I don't think down to 6K, I think we're going to get an intermediate bounce over the next couple of years. In other words, I don't, I think there, I think while, you know, it's scary and macroeconomics, I think they're going to need another year or two to get their act together before they do the final stages of whatever they're planning to do to crash the markets and reset the currency. I think they need a couple more years to do that. So how be how better to do that let's drive price up for a little while and then bring it down slowly again uh, as a sell off you know and let's take some liquidity along the way make a bunch of money in the process so there's my macro thinking right now this is my main so the ma along with that macro thinking price going down now with those maximum puts protection that also gives liquidity for more selling in a distribution range when everybody's max bearish price goes up they have to cover those guys are buying the top. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's all that takes time is unwinding balance sheets, really. Yep. And so, yeah, they need that time in order to, I mean, because they're guys, they're dealing with billions of dollars. They're not like us that can do our transaction in one trade or two trades, right? <laughs> you know, they're they're doing their business. And, uh, you know, you talk about me having bullets, so like three or four bullets. Imagine what their bullets are like, okay? How, how much money they're dealing with and how many bullets they play with. So anyway, th it takes time. And and so just realize the market goes a lot slower than you expect. So I, I, I am no longer believing that we're probably going straight down to 6K from here really fast over the next couple of weeks. I just don't think that's going to play. I'm more likely leaning. Now, it doesn't mean it can't. It just means that if you ask me right now, this is my thinking right now. My primary thinking is we probably go hit the low, make a new low, 16k range, okay, and then we and then we have a reversal zone right in there. That over the next several months to six months or whatever, we start trending back to the upside, taking out liquidity around 40k range, and then and then we work our way back down. Those are my thoughts. Um, if price action tonight plays out the way I'm, I've drawn it out for you, it's within the realm. I'll probably just post a chart or two 
as to what I'm thinking. Uh, otherwise, uh, probably no live tonight. Uh, probably just let the chart speak for itself. However, if I start to see something that's just dramatically changing my thinking, um, then then I will definitely definitely come back on and do a live. But with that said, y'all have a fantastic evening. Um, anything else needs to be said or any thoughts or questions uh, before we cut this off? All right, let's do one thing really fast. Uh, small time frame, very, very small time frame. I think I think a very plausible thing that may happen on the very small time frame is that we're going to move down to here. Here's the here's the liquidity box. Okay, down down here. Let's let us let us let's bust this area. Okay, let's zoom back up here, retest the trend line, and then and then uh, during London we go down and up, and then New York dump tomorrow. That's a very plausible price action map for the rest of the evening and to tomorrow. Does it mean it's going to play? No, it's just, if you had to ask me, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Good day, guys. We'll see you.